Cabo San Lucas, located on the southern tip of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. Undoubtedly the best place on the planet to target striped marlin. Jumping in. Well, that was cool. My good friends Chris and Laura Jessen, owners of the fish tank, invited me down to Cabo for a few days to give it a shot. And from the New York Yankees, my good friend and philanthropist, CC Sabathia. Coming up. Oh! <laughs> joins me to focus on striped marlin. A lot of them. They're gonna work for it this time. All this action, not far from the shoreline. The majestic Playa Grande Resort was our home base for the week, and they rolled out the red carpet for us. So take a shot and join me, because Cabo is pure adrenaline. Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. Picking up a few last minute items at Bass Pro Shops. We got a time check, it's one o'clock. Flight leaves at four o'clock, we're heading to Cabo. We're gonna catch some striped marlin. I need some wind on leader, weights, my swivels, 60 pound leader, 7 oh, circle awesome. hooks. Main line, you name it, I'm gonna get it here real quick. Set, let's go. We'd like to ask our flight attendants to please take their seats for landing. There's nothing like seeing your destination from the plane. All I see is bountiful blue water with unlimited possibilities. This is Peter Miller. Hey, Peter. We just got to Cabo. How was it right? Very good. Thank you. <laughs> We're staying at the Playa Grande Resort and Grand Spa, an eight-acre oasis right on the beach, only minutes away from Cabo's famous rock arch on the Pacific Ocean. This will be our home base as we explore Baja California. My suite is decked out with an ocean view. In my bedroom, I was welcomed with a custom hand-laid colored stone logo of Uncharted Waters. That's attention to detail. I dropped off my gear and immediately set out to explore and learn more about Cabo's subtropical landscape. And what better way to do it than on a professionally guided four-wheeler thrill ride. 27 kilometers that will take you guys out into the riverbed, into the real desert. We try to show you the real Baja out here. Oh, yeah. And we take you back to the beach so we can catch up with this sunset. So let's have fun, let's be safe, and may God bless your souls. Five hundred and seventy cc's and four knobby off-road tires allowed me to connect with this desert's terrain. Riding between the desert mountains and the canyons until at last, we reached the lookout point on the edge of a cliff, which revealed a spectacular view of the Pacific Ocean. If we look that way, there's a rock on the ocean, the second hill from here. It's a sea lion colony over there. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. It's a lot of sea lions, means that there's a lot of fish, but also a lot of sharks. I'm staring at every little subtlety in the water, any little ripple, everything you're saying, and my head is like exploding right now. The view of the ocean from the cliff gives you a remarkable panoramic look at the abundance of sea life. I've seen people taking sea bass from the shore here. Really? You know, because of the depth. Man, I should have brought my rod. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> and right along the shoreline, you could speed over the soft sand, getting your adrenaline pumping. The trails are diverse and rugged, and we quickly find ourselves hugging the edges of some big bank turns. You got me psyched for Cabo. Vámonos. Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. Live salty. Citizen. Better starts now.
Tire America. Your tires, your way. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. I woke up on day one to the most amazing sunrise. Eager to head out with my good friend Chris Jessen and the crew aboard the fish tank. Chris and his wife Laura have caught and released thousands of marlin in this area. These guys are considered one of the best fishing teams in the world. As I make my way down to the dock to meet Chris, you can see how much sport fishing brings to the Cabo San Lucas economy. Today, there's approximately 250 boats on the ready for the shotgun start to one of the biggest tournaments of the year. I have to admit, it makes me feel a little bit nostalgic. Having fished tournaments my entire life, it really gets my blood pumping. I've been to the podium over a hundred times collecting trophies and checks, and it's an amazing feeling to go up against the best of the best and come out on top. But today, we head in the opposite direction to uncharted waters, targeting bottom fish and wahoo. Surprisingly, while using lures intended for wahoo, we hooked up with a striped marlin immediately. You gotta be kidding. These things are too easy to catch. Don't ever say that again, Pete. Coming up. Oh, yay. He is wagging like a tail of a dog. There's a lot of striped marlin around, Pete. It just goes to show you how prevalent these things are. Perfect size, huh? A little mini to start the day, warm us up. We came up and nailed this thing, couldn't resist it. Had one come up on a teaser just now, fishing for a while, but we got one bait out, two teasers, and something came up and just tugged on the uh, right teaser. You never know if they're gonna come back. Fish on, behind you. Swimming right at the boat. There we go. Coming across the corner. Oh yeah, it's a wild one. We got a screamer. Oh yeah, baby, look at that wahoo! Wahoo! Dude, that's a nice wahoo! Nice Whoa! That's a winner! Nice fish, man. Nice job. So we're gonna be cutting this thing up. Nice and thin. A little wasabi. Can't wait. A little soy sauce, maybe. Oh yeah. For the next few hours, we deep jig for bottom fish on a plateau and we caught some really cool species, one of which was called a red scorpion fish. Look at that thing in the light. Look at those eyes. They have sparkly eyes. <laughs> These are <laughs> so attractive. That's a cool looking fish. I'm on. Yay! It doesn't feel big. It feels like, like five pounds. Maybe, Maybe six. six. <laughs> <laughs> the same fish. Grouper. These spines will get you, man. Get them, Chris. Way bigger than Vans. Oh, what a gobbler. Man, this is a honey hole. This is awesome. He doesn't have the sparkly eyes. That's a good fish. Nice gaff, Pete. Right in the right shoulder, in the meat. Pete. With a cooler full of fish, we decided to pack it in and run to a well-known area called the Finger Banks. You want to run back to the Finger Banks? Try, try to catch a marlin or two? Yeah, I think so. It's important to pre-fish the spot you'll be fishing the following day to ensure your guests have a good time. And my special guest for tomorrow's fishing excursion is my good friend, CC Sabathia, pitcher of the New York Yankees, along with his buddy, Mike. Got him. Looks like the finger banks are gonna be good for tomorrow, Chris. Hopefully they'll be here, Pete. Well, this is perfect. At the end of the day is a perfect time to test it out, right? Yeah. There he is. Woo. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one. Is it, what is that? Is that a blue? I think we got a blue marlin on. Whoa! Woohoo! Nice. Nice. Oh! Oh! Come on, baby. Keep going. He's still going. Still going, man. This fish is a showboater. <laughs> nice and easy. Let's try to get Jack. Nice, man. There he goes. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. I hope Cece took his uh, vitamins, man. We're going to have a good day tomorrow. Nice Woo! job, Ben. As the sun set, we were heading back to the dock, and I couldn't wait to prepare the wahoo for sashimi. That's a fillet right there, folks. You know, this is usually when a seal comes up and, like, rips it right off the deck of the boat. 
see this meat is just pristine. So now we have a beautiful chunk. I'm gonna take my sharp knife and make some nice thin slices. You can see the opaqueness right through it. I mean, it's nice and cold. These are big pieces. Fit for a king. Wasabi, soy. How do you like this plate? It's delicious. Cheers, Cheers Pete. Man. Thank Thanks you. For a great trip. Oh, that's delicious. It's smooth, right? Yeah. Tequila and Wahoo in Mexico, Pete. Can't beat that. Mercury. Go boldly. Fishing chaos. Fish smarter, not harder. Low T center. Reinventing men's health care. Yeti. Built for the wild. Today, I awoke completely amped up because my buddy CC Sabathia from the New York Yankees was here in Cabo and ready to crush it. As always. He made it. <laughs> I, brought, I brought you muffins. You got muffins. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, man. What's up, bro? Thanks for having us. Is this Mike? Yeah, this hey. is my boy. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. Pleasure to meet you, man. Same here. Can we get a cab to the marina, please? Cece and I have fished together numerous times in Miami. He and his wife, Amber, are founders of the Pitchin Foundation and are constantly giving back to the community with the ultimate goal of enriching the lives of the inner city youth. I donated this particular trip to Rihanna's charity, the Clara Lionel Foundation at the Diamond Ball in New York City. Cece happened to be the highest bidder. <laughs> I gotta chill for two minutes. That's what I said, this is like a chill spot. Like normally you try to fight for spots to sit down. This is incredible. <laughs> we are back at the finger banks. And within seconds, we get our first bite of the day. Left long. Left long. CC, you're up, bro. That's a nice fish, man. Dude, you got a freaking strike marlin on. It's coming up. Oh! oh! That's incredible. And this is why you come to Cabo, man. <laughs> oh, man. CC really impressed me with the way he was fighting his first marlin. And then things went from good to great. Left short. Double header coming up. Get him, Chris. Chris is tight. Oh, I just got bit. Tripled up, tripled up. <laughs> Coming up. Woo! Chris is right here. Coming up hot. With Chris's fish closest to the boat, Cece and I started losing a lot of line. The guy that hooks it first always works the hardest. <laughs> the second guy, second artist, and the third guy usually catches it first. All we got to do is touch that leader to the tip. Our mate Eric took a wrap on the leader, and the fish popped off perfectly. All right, Cece, now we're going to back up and we're gonna close the gap. Got the leader, got the catch, came off right there, perfect. Woo! -hoo! Good job, man. Two marlin right on the leader. Now we gotta work on CC's. That CC striped marlin fishing in Cabo. Making them work for it this time. <laughs> oh! Call that the ball watch. <laughs> That's a sport fishing bidet right there, folks. All right, there's your leader. We got the leader, guys, coming up. Nice and easy, CC, come around. And once he touches it, you got your first marlin. Yeah, we got the first marlin. There he is, look at the size of that thing. Look at that fish, dude. Look at that fish. Woo! That's incredible. And there he is, with a tag, swimming away. All right, so CC, for your first striped marlin, you get to keep the circle hook with this frayed up leader. Look at that leader. For, for a momento. That's insane. Congratulations, man. man. That was awesome. <laughs> There is one well-known fact that every fisherman knows. Find the birds, and you'll find the fish. Bait balls attract marlin, and birds can see this from far above. So as a fisherman, we're always on the lookout for birds, using the naked eye, binoculars, and even radar. It's too good to be true. The birds hover above, waiting for the perfect moment to swoop down and pluck a sardine right off the surface. Look at the birds trying to eat whatever he's throwing up. They come up shaking, and they're in bait right now. So what they're doing is basically gorging themselves. And when they come up and jump, they could sling like 50 freaking sardines out of their mouths. With all this bait in the area, the marlin are super concentrated, allowing us to increase our marlin catch rate dramatically. 
So we've been out here 20 minutes and this is, this is our fourth and fifth Marlin. Coming up right here. Boom. Coming up. Oh! The best way to capitalize on these conditions is to fight the fish fast and get a quick release. Good job, man. Hey, I like those gloves. Because you only have seconds to regather your composure. You know what's crazy is that we're already putting the baits out again. Yeah. Huh? The baits we're gonna be, we're gonna get another bite in like a minute. <laughs> have, a, have a soda pop. <laughs> have something to drink. <laughs> Keep an eye on that bait. <laughs> we catch these four, it will be nine fish in like 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. oh Cece, yours is jumping out there. Look at him. That's you. Keep reeling. Can you skip? Look at the peck fins on that thing, man. Turquoise. Good job, man. What a beast. CC's fish right there, folks. Oh, man. Look at this. CC's been fighting Marlin for the past hour. This is his third Marlin of the morning. Good job. That's another catch, number 11. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Holy shit. CC. Wow. Woo. Good job, guys. Why am I not doing this every day? <laughs> and it only gets better. Salt Life sunglasses, see clearly. Padre Azul, super premium tequila. Life can be fantastic. Bubba, the ultimate lifestyle. Mercury, go boldly. What's so amazing about fishing in Cabo San Lucas is the fact that you can pull up on a school of a million sardines getting devoured by striped marlin, seals, porpoise, whales, and even sharks. It's absolutely incredible to witness. If you guys have a mask and fins, I'll swim right up to it. I quickly find a mask and fins and only arm myself with a GoPro. Hey, you ever done this? You ever jump in like Never that? Never jumped in, man, with a, a school of marlin. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. nuts, man. I've never seen this. This is something I would never recommend to anyone. It's not safe at all. But I knew it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. He's crazy. No way I'm jumping in. But I know him, he has to go. Jumping in. I landed directly on top of a school of striped marlin, and they had just finished eating a school of sardines. For the moment, I had a sense of peace. Even though I was surrounded, I didn't feel threatened. But after being in the water for some time, reality starts to set in, and I began to think about the dangers of sharks and other creatures that were also feasting on the bait balls. You just never know who's going to show up at the dinner table. I saw like 10, and they're all cutting around, and one came up to look at me, and then all of a sudden I saw two. They were coming up and down, they were eating sardines, and you can see like the white of the sardine disappearing down their mouths. There's their CC's right here. That is some sick stuff, CC. Number 19 for the morning for every year of your uh, baseball career. Number 20 for the day, and it's only noon. Leader, look at that. Beautiful, man. Woo! I think we should break out the fly rod. The key to this is basically tease them up like we do everything else, but the only difference is you take the boat out of gear and then you flop this over the side, give it a couple pops, and hopefully they come up and eat it. It looks impossible. <laughs> oh, look, he coming, look. He coming, he coming, look. Got him on. Marlin on fly. What? My first ever Marlin on fly. He's coming in the boat. There he is. Oh. Now we got the heat. You always gotta watch your knuckles on these reels. It is a knuckle breaker. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, so when you're reeling, you're getting like nothing. So every turn I'm making is just a few inches of line. There's the leader. You're gonna see that red fly in his face. Oh! Catching a marlin on fly was something I never thought I would do. Good job, man. Couldn't have done it without you guys. That was insane. Woo! Thanks, guys. That was a fish of a lifetime, man. 50 years in the making. Chris, bring it in, man. 
Bring it in. Bring it in. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. I know you love hugs. I do. As nighttime approaches, I take a moment to myself and reflect on the experiences we all shared in Cabo. It's easy to see why fishermen flock to this area in such large numbers. The fishing here is world class. The Playa Grande Resort showed us amazing hospitality and even entertained us with traditional cultural dances. I'm really looking forward to returning to Cabo very soon. For additional content and social media, please visit us at unchartedwaterstv.com.